In this video, we're going to look at elimination method questions, level two. So if you look at this first example here, solve for x and y, just like always, uh, we have two equations. But in the, this system, there's not a matching coefficient, and there's not an opposite coefficient, right? If we uh, look at the x's, they both don't have the same number up front, or they both don't have opposite numbers up front. Same with the y's, right? Uh, so what makes these level two questions is that just there's an extra step at, at the beginning. Uh, so I'm going to decide to get rid of the x's, um, but right now they don't have matching or opposite coefficients. So what we're allowed to do is we're allowed to multiply everything in that top equation by whatever number we want to make it so that they would have a matching uh, coefficient or an opposite coefficient. So if this one's a 9x, I want to multiply this one by a 3. Make sure you do it to both sides, right? Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other side. And the reason why I did that is now my top equation is going to be negative 9x plus 3y equals 21. My bottom equation did not change. That's helpful to us because now look at the x's. They both have opposite coefficients. Opposites co coefficients will go away when we add. So negative 9x plus 9x cancels them out. 3y plus negative 6y is going to be negative 3y. And 21 plus 3 is going to be 24. Divide both sides by negative 3. And I'm going to get y equals negative 8. So really all this did was add one little step at the beginning. And that step is you're allowed to multiply one or both of the equations by whatever numbers you want. As long as you do it to both sides, you're allowed to do that. Let me finish this problem. Y is negative eight. Uh, I need to plug that into one of the equations. Now I can plug it into one of the originals or one of the new ones. They're all, they're all equivalent. So I'm gonna plug it into the um, original top one. So negative three X plus Y equals seven. Negative three X minus eight equals seven. 2 plus 8 to both sides, and you get negative 3x equals 15. Divide both sides by negative 3, and you get x equals negative 5. So my final answer is negative 5, negative 8. All right, we're going to do one more example. And the only other thing that might come up in this a problem like this is uh, you might have to multiply both equations by a number because I can't think of a number to multiply seven by to get six or six to get seven. And there's no number to multiply five to get seven or seven to get five. So you have to multiply both uh, equations here. If you're not sure what number to multiply by, you kind of cheat and just multiply by the other number. So if I want to get rid of the X's in this problem, I could just multiply this one by six and this one by negative seven, right? I just use the top number on the bottom equation and the bottom number on the top equation. This isn't the only way to solve this problem. Uh, you could have picked other numbers, right? You could have picked seven, negative seven and five for this one. You could have picked other numbers. It doesn't have to be the numbers that I picked here. Um, as long as when you're all done, when you go to solve, the coefficients are matching or opposites, it's okay. You can pick whatever numbers you want. So this one would give us negative 42x plus 30y equals 14 times 6 is 84, and this one's going to be negative 42x plus 49y equals negative 49. Look at that, the x's are the same, and things are that are the same go away when you subtract. So this minus this will cancel the x's. 30 minus 49 is going to be negative 19y. And 84 minus negative 49, that's the same as saying 84 plus 49, right? And that's going to be 133, right? 4 plus 9 is 13, 8 plus 4, that's good. And then I divide both sides by negative 19. And 133 divided by 19 is 7. So y is negative 7. Now we're going to go back and plug it in. I'm going to use the bottom equation, 6x minus 7y. I just picked that arbitrarily. There's no reason why I picked it. You can pick any of the equations, the two new ones or the two originals. 
six X plus 49 equals seven. Seven minus 49 is negative 42. Divide by six, we're gonna get X equals negative seven. So in this problem, X is negative seven and Y is negative seven. And I wrote it like this in both possible manners, either X and Y with an equal sign or as a point, negative seven comma negative seven. That's all today, thanks for watching.